A lot of people like to go out to steakhouses for Valentine's Day or for a special occasion or date night. And while I'm not saying that this recipe tastes like steak, it does have a very steakhouse inspired feel. It's very beautiful in presentation. It's kind of hearty and a little bit fancy. And it feels like something that you probably wouldn't be able to make at home, even though you totally can. So I'm going to show you how to make this very impressive looking but easy to make dinner. And I hope you guys love it. So we're going to create some cauliflower steaks and for this you're going to need the largest cauliflower head that you can find at the store. Go ahead and rinse it and pat it dry and then using a large knife you want to just kind of trim off the bottom of the stem but you don't want to totally remove it because keeping the stem in place is the key to creating really beautiful cauliflower steaks that don't fall apart. So just remove the extra leaves from the bottom and then using a sharp knife again you want to go ahead and cut the outer quarter of the cauliflower off and I just reserve those florets for another day for another recipe because I just focus on the middle of the cauliflower here and I create some really large thick cut steaks that go right through the center of the stem. And again, that stem really helps hold all the florets together so you get these really cool looking cauliflower steaks. Then you wanna go ahead and transfer them to a baking sheet. And I like to drizzle this with a little bit of olive oil, or if you don't wanna use olive oil, you can also brush them with some unsweetened plain vegan yogurt. And then sprinkle them very generously with some salt and pepper. You wanna go really heavy, especially on the black pepper, because if you think of a steakhouse steak, a lot of times they'll do pepper crusted steaks. So getting that nice kind of thick layer of black pepper is really gonna add a nice hardiness and a really also beautiful color. Then I sprinkle on some garlic powder, some paprika, and some dried rosemary. Again, you wanna be pretty generous with this. And with the rosemary, I actually like to pour it into my hand first and use my thumb to crush up the leaves because this is going to help re-release some of their flavor and also aroma. Sometimes dried herbs sit in our cupboards for a really long time and they can kind of become a little bit dull. So crushing them up like this is going to help kind of bring them back to life and add a lot more flavor so you get a bit more bang for your buck. You want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees and once it's nice and hot you can go ahead and put your cauliflower steaks in. They're going to take about 30 minutes so you want to remove them once they are golden brown and fork tender. In the meantime I'm going to make our sauce and for this you need 3 tablespoons of mustard. I usually use either spicy brown or Dijon mustard and then I add a little bit of horseradish. This is going to give it a nice kind of subtle kick and really round out the flavor and I do a half a teaspoon of that and one tablespoon of maple syrup and one tablespoon of water. Then I just whisk it together and set it aside for later on. The last step is to create our side dish. And for this, I'm going to make my two ingredient mashed potatoes. So I just went ahead and peeled and boiled some yellow baby potatoes or gold potatoes sometimes they're called. And you wanna steam them until they're fork tender and then let them cool a little bit and put them in a blender along with about a third of a cup of the cooking liquid. This is important because the cooking liquid has a lot of that potato starch, which is really gonna create a really smooth velvety potato, which I think is really good, especially in this recipe. Then I'm gonna add some chive cream cheese. This is a great vegan cream cheese because it has some garlic and some chives. I absolutely love it. If you don't have this, you could do a little bit of vegan butter, a splash of almond milk, and some salt and pepper, and it would still be really good. But I love adding vegan cream cheese, especially with these potatoes because they're so smooth and creamy. It's almost kind of a mix between a side dish and a cheese sauce, which I think is so good with the roasted cauliflower. And as you can see, they become really beautiful and caramelized in the oven. Those spices really give them a really beautiful color and already your kitchen is going to smell so good. So then I like to take a large white plate. Again, anytime I'm trying to make something look like it's restaurant style, I love using a white plate just because it really frames the food really nicely. Then I take a big dollop of the mashed potatoes and I kind of use my spoon to create a cool little design for them, a little bed for the cauliflower to lay on. And then I put that on top along with a nice drizzle of the mustard sauce. You can also serve some of that sauce on the side because it's delicious. And then again, using fresh herbs is something that's so important when trying to recreate a restaurant quality dish because it not only adds a ton of flavor, but it also makes it look really beautiful. And for the same reason, I'm also going to garnish with just a little bit of red pepper flakes. I think the colors, the red and the green, really complement the gold hues in this dish and make it look really, really beautiful. And I think it looks pretty impressive. 
that is it for this video. Make sure you stay tuned tomorrow for the third installment of this series. I'm going to be showing you how to make an incredibly decadent brownie that's actually semi-homemade, which means like you could take a little help from the store, throw a little homemade touch on it, and it actually tastes amazing, and you'll totally fool your guests. They're going to think you spent forever making it, and it's really good. So I hope you guys are excited, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!